evening. I'm Crystal Waugh. Your silence speaks volumes. I've reached out to each of you and have received no response. I know many people that have reached out to you individually and have also received no response. You have so many families that have an issue with your discriminatory dress code policy, yet you sit here in silence and continue to dismiss us. Not only do you not respond when someone reaches out to you, you also have not put the dress code on the agenda, despite many, many requests for it. There's been no dialogue or collaboration with concerned parents. It appears that you do not care. Here's a quote from your own code of ethics off of your own website, bullet, number, bullet point number 14. Make certain the board and staff remain responsive to their community by assuring courtesy to patrons, considering their views, and treating them with respect and dignity. That does not happen. Do you care or are you concerned that you are enforcing a discriminatory dress code policy? Do you care or are you concerned that you're forcing children to change their appearance against their will? Do you care or are you concerned that you're pulling innocent children out of the classroom and isolating them from classroom instruction? This is their right and you are depriving them of their basic rights. Do you care or are you concerned that kids have had to drop their AP classes because they were stuck in ISS and unable to attend mandatory school meetings? Do you care or are you concerned that you've sent innocent children to alternative school because they don't look like the stereotype that you've set forth as your standard? Do you care or are you concerned that as you continue to aggressively enforce your discriminatory dress code policy that you're not consistent in your enforcement? Do you care or are you concerned that specific kids have been targeted and others get away with dress code violations daily? It's your job to care and it is your job to be concerned. It's your job to do something about it. It's your job to communicate with concerned parents. You have been made fully aware of all of the discrimination issues within this district. Allowing discrimination to continue is negligent. You have the ability to stop this immediately Yet, to this point, you've chosen to do nothing. I'm asking you to do your job and to follow your code of ethics. I'm asking you to put the kids and their education first.